What happens when the games we play meet a tough reality? With all that's been going on in the news lately, I can't help but wonder, how should we think about games and their place in the world? Join me as I try to work this out here on Legendary Tactics. This video will not purport to have any answers, likely only more questions, but I think it's important to have the discussion and hopefully this video will be useful in that regard. Much like my colleague's video about what we can learn from the board game pandemic about the real world pandemic we are dealing with, it seems like board games are becoming more than just a simple pastime, but representative of the world we live in. I recommend giving his video a watch, I'll put the link in the description below. When a designer creates a board game that is based on reality, what do we hope to achieve? As a longtime wargamer, I have considered these games to be primarily educational tools, as a way to interact with history. If you were to step into the shoes of Napoleon or Wellington, given the same situation, would you make the same decisions? Would you be able to put together a better strategy than they did? What if the history played out differently? But these days I'm questioning whether this view is too simplistic. After watching the video called Colonialism, the board game struggle by the channel No Pun Included, and reading a recent article in The Atlantic, it's caused me to expand my thinking on the topic. For your reference, I'll put a link to both of these in the description as well. As the board gaming hobby expands, adding more diversity and viewpoints, will this call attention to other games based in history and in reality? I'm pretty sure it will. While it's easier to play games based on the Peloponnesian War or the Napoleonic Wars because of the temporal distance involved, what happens with games like A Distant Plane or Labyrinth, both of which have been featured on this channel? For those of you who don't know, A Distant Plane attempts to simulate, from a broad strategic perspective, the conflict in Afghanistan since 2001, and Labyrinth concerns the War on Terror since that same year from a larger global viewpoint. As games, in my opinion, both are excellent. They offer a challenging puzzle, lots of strategy, and a perspective on recent history that might not be available otherwise. But it's this perspective that I'm wondering about. As we watch on the news the recent chaos in Afghanistan, my heart goes out to the people there, and all I can do from where I sit is to hope that all will somehow be okay. Is it alright to now set up and play a game of a distant plane? If I were one of the refugees fleeing the country, how would I feel about that? After all, we are essentially turning the trials and tribulations of real human beings into a game for our own enjoyment. I remember reading some threads on BoardGameGeek.com about people who were uncomfortable playing the game Labyrinth given that they had served in the military abroad or they had some close personal connection to the very real and tragic stories that have resulted from conflict over the last 20 years. I have no direct connection to that sort of thing, but I vividly remember reading those threads and sympathizing with their perspective. But even ignoring recent history, is there a fundamental problem with playing a game that recreates, for example, the World War II campaign in Russia, knowing that each side in that conflict represented an inhumane and totalitarian regime? What's the right thing to do here? To be honest, I don't really know. On one hand, I feel it is like watching the television show of a celebrity who has committed horrible crimes, or finding out that your favorite musician is an immoral jerk. Does that change the art? Can you still enjoy it regardless of your feelings of the artist? Again, I'm not sure. For example, if you found out that Michelangelo was a man who treated women terribly, would that change the cultural value of his creations? It's very likely that a lot of classical artists that are held in high regard were in fact guilty of many faults that in today's world would lead them to be reevaluated. The only thing is we don't have access to that information and we probably wouldn't feel much connection to it even if we did. The other side of the coin is that learning history is important, even if it's uncomfortable, and the fact that board games can allow you to interact with the history in a way that a book or movie simply cannot seems to me to be valuable. As I said at the beginning, I don't really have any answers here, but I think the discussion is worthy and useful. What do you think? 
Are historical games still worth having and playing? Why or why not? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This is Legendary Tactics.